Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the surface area of a hemisphere. Now a hemisphere is just half a sphere. And do you remember from the previous video that if we had a full sphere of radius r, then the surface area of a whole sphere was equal to 4 pi r squared, where that r is the radius. So let's think about how it works with a hemisphere. If we're chopping it in half, we're just going to have the surface area of the bottom half of that sphere. So if we halve the 4 pi r squared, we're going to get 2 lots of pi r squared. So we're going to get 2 lots of pi r squared. And that will give us this curved bit here. But can you see the surface area, the total area of all the faces, is also going to include the top. Now what kind of shape is the top? Of the hemisphere, which well, is just a circle. And what's the area of a circle? It's pi r squared. So we're going to have an additional pi r squared. So in fact, we could simplify that. The total surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 3 pi r squared. And I wouldn't bother memorizing that as a formula. I would just think about, well, if you've got the 4 pi r squared, we halve it to get the 2 pi r squared to get that bottom face, and then we've got additional circle on the top of the pi r squared. So let's do 3 pi r squared with our radius of 3 units. So we do 3 times pi times by r squared, so 3 squared. Now 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27, so the answer is 27 pi. And it does say determine the exact surface area of the hemisphere. Now if it's exact, you should leave your answer in terms of pi. You shouldn't convert it to a decimal. So that is the final answer. There's no units by the way, so we could if we wanted to write units squared.